chickies. Here at Oh My Gosh Polish, mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so you should totally subscribe now. <laughs> now let's get into today's nail art. We are doing Pretty Flakies. I really hope you like it. It's so pretty. Let's get into it. Now the two main things I'll be using for this money are some new flakies from What's Up Nails. The ones I'm using are called Mystery Flakies and the polish I'm using is from Essie and is called Virgin Snow. It's a lovely light lavender purple. It's very pretty. As per usual, all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below. I'm going to start off by painting all of my nails with Essie's Virgin Snow. You'll notice that the brush from the polish bottle from this Essie bottle is much bigger than the brushes from the Essie bottles for, that they sell in America. I don't know about anywhere else but here in Australia they give us really big brushes and it's wonderful. Now this polish definitely requires two to three thin coats to get completely opaque but it is really beautiful once you get to that point. <laughs> And here is the nail cleanup porn for this video. It's not a very long one, so I'm sorry for that. For those of you who do enjoy it, please enjoy. For those of you who don't, you want to skip ahead now. <laughs> Okay, so next it's time for the flakies. Again, as I said, these are from What's Up Nails and I'm using the Mystery Flakies one pot today. They sent me three new flakies. This one is just really, really pretty. It's got like a pinky purple hue with a little touch of green. It's lovely. Now, just a word to the wise, when you open the pot, try not to breathe too hard on it or at all on it because they are the flakes are so light, they will literally go everywhere with the slightest amount of breath. Now to stick the flakies down, I'm using just a general top coat from Sally Hansen. I'm not even 100% sure that it is a top coat, but the reason why I do that rather than using Sesh Feet is because I want to have a little bit more time to play around with it. Uh, with Sesh Feet, it dries so quickly. Um, by the time I've put one sort of amount of flaky on, the top coat's dry and you need to start again. So that's why I tend to use uh, a non-fast drying top coat. Uh, you can just... You can, I guess you could pick it up with your finger, the flakies, and just pat them onto your finger. But I, I rather, rather, I rather, I, how do you say it? I prefer, that's better, I prefer to use the fan brush. Um, it helps you to pick up just a small amount because you don't need very much. Now, I know that a lot of you have expressed when I've used these particular products before that it's a very expensive product. And yes, uh, initially, I think it is the initial outlay is quite expensive but you don't need to use very much. Uh, and like the little pot's only 0.4 of a gram, but I mean, that's fair enough because it's very, very light, but you really don't need to use a lot and it will last a long, long time. Next, I'm going to be using some liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails because I'm going to be doing some stamping. Of course, if you are allergic to latex, please do not use this product. You will need to find an alternative. This is the plate I'll be using. It's from What's Up Nails. It's called B018. It's got some lovely floral designs and some leaf designs as well. It's really nice. I like it. For this one, I've chosen to use the large rose design. And I stuffed up on the filming of the scraping of the stamping polish on the plate. But I didn't stuff up the filming of the transferring the image onto my nail. So yay me. <laughs> the black stamping polish that I'm using is the Mundo de Uñas. Aren't you so impressed with how well I can say that now? 
I'm impressed by myself. Anyway, uh, so I know that that's not going to smudge. That's why I used to use the Dance Legend black stamping polish because that was so good, but it started to smudge all of a sudden, and so I stopped using it because I was frightened. You know, because if you can, st if you stamp something really good, and then the ridiculousness of smudging with a top coat, it's just so unfair. Especially if you did a really good stamping job, and that's few and far between for me. So I really do value a good a black stamping polish that does not smudge, because that is just the worst. So anywho, once everything is completely dry, you want to go ahead and seal it in with your favourite top coat. Of course, I am using Seshfish as per usual. And look at that. No smudge. Yay. That's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I love how it came out. It looks so pretty in the sun the next day. Oh, so yum. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video. And don't forget to subscribe. And follow me on all of the other social medias. Don't Feel free to come and tweet at me. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going now. <laughs> Bye.